Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about what is, in my opinion, a super big announcement that we got yesterday, which is finally a solid update on the Castlevania Anniversary Collection, finally getting its physical release from Limited Run Games. Now this isn't actually news per se, because we already knew since the end of last year that this was supposed to be getting a physical release. However, it was delayed since the month of November 2020 because of all the craziness and the difficulty for limited run games to actually print and ship their games. And without a solid order date, well we had no idea what the actual packages were going to look like. And finally, yesterday, they dropped on their Twitter and on different uh, medias that basically the collection was finally coming and you could check out and decide which pack you wanted to pre-order and what exactly was going to be included in all of them. So I thought today we'd go over really quickly over all the four different packs. If you see more than four on the screen, it's just because it's getting a Switch and a PS4 release. Obviously, we're going to be focusing more on the Switch versions, but they're pretty much identical between the two systems, other than the physical media being adapted for the PS4. Now, don't forget, as you're watching this video, if you do like the content, hit the like button, best way to support the channel, and subscribe if you aren't already. So just before we go over the actual packs, just in case any of you out there don't know exactly what games are included on the Anniversary Collection, I thought by looking at the base version of the game here, we take a quick rundown of what exactly the games that are included on the Anniversary Collection. So basically we're getting eight Castlevania titles and we're getting a lot of the really good classic ones. So basically you have the Castlevania 1, which is what started it all. You have Castlevania 3 Dr Dracula's Curse, which has to be one of the best. Super Castlevania, then we have Castlevania Bloodlines, which is the Sega Genesis version, and then we have Kid Dracula, which is actually being translated for the first time ever in official English by Konami for this collection. Now, the four other games are still very good, which is Castlevania 2, uh, Castlevania Adventures, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. These are all really good games as well, but I would say that the really standouts of these collection is going to be Castlevania 1, Castlevania 3, Super Castlevania, Castlevania Bloodlines, and Kid Dracula, just because it's such a fun take on the Castlevania series. Now, you can check these games out all separately. You know, you can check out videos to see what they look like online and whatnot. But basically, you are getting a stacked Castlevania collection, really based on the classic Castlevania games. And so now before we move on to the bigger packs, what you get in the basic version for $34.99, so this is going to cost $35 US plus shipping to wherever you live, you basically get just the standard physical edition of the game. However, I've got to say the box art is quite beautiful and obviously being it a limited run product, I do expect this one uh, to eventually go up in price. So if you're looking at picking it up, the pre-order date starts on May 14th. So be open to that. However, it's not a limited release, meaning that basically there's going to be a six week pre-order period and the numbers of each game that they're going to print is unlimited and it'll be based on how many orders they get. But once that pre-order date closes six weeks later, it is done. If you haven't ordered the game, you're going to have to buy it secondhand. So now let's take a look at one of the bigger packs that you can get and what exactly are included in it. And the first one is the Classic Edition, which is obviously very strongly based on the original NES releases. And if we take a close look at what we get in this pack, well, basically you get an original reproduction box of what the old school NES boxes looked like. These things are generally beautiful with really high grade quality and high grade art. You obviously get the standard Nintendo Switch case that you get with the basic version. You also get an imitation retro style dust sleeve like we used to have on our NES carts. You get a reversible poster and you get a copy of the original soundtrack. And everyone knows that the Castlevania games, if you're into chiptune music, is some of the most amazing music that you can get for a retro style gaming experience. And how much more is all this going to cost you? Well, this pack is going to be selling for $59.99. So basically $15 more than the base versions. Now, I know that $15 can sound like a lot of money to some people. But honestly, if you're going to invest in a limited runs game, 
I would generally strongly recommend looking at either one of the classic or what we're going to look at Bloodlines editions. Of course, just the basic game itself is nonetheless phenomenal to have a physical version of the game. But I really love the classic editions, often when you're on a tighter budget and you can't spring for that huge one that we're going to look at at the end, you still get a really decent retro styled experience with one of the classic or Bloodlines editions. So now because I don't want this video to be too long, let's move on to that second pack, which is the Bloodlines edition, which is actually going to be selling the same as the classic edition. Simply what's going to happen on this one is that the physical editions are going to be based around the Bloodlines version of the Castlevania game. So for anyone who's not aware, Bloodlines was a release on the Sega Genesis. It's pretty much the only official Castlevania game we ever got for the Sega Genesis. So basically, rather than a reproduction and yes box, we get a reproduction clamshell based on the Sega Genesis version. We still get the basic box art here. We get the original soundtrack and we get the reversible poster. Basically, what you're losing out is on the dust cover shell. But obviously, producing a clamshell box here costs more than reproducing the cardboard box that the NES used to come in, which is why they generally add that dust sleeve in to add a little bit of value to the NES version. While the Sega Genesis clamshell versions, well, the production value on this is generally a little bit higher because it's a hard clamshell. So basically, to me, someone who's not springing for the big pack and wants one of the other versions, it'll often be based on your personal preference. Were you a Sega Genesis kid and what you really remember of the classic Castlevania is the Bloodlines version? Or were you an NES kid and you remember the original releases from the NES? So with now with those three packs out of the way, we only have one left. We have the big boy. We have the Anniversary Collection Ultimate Edition to look at. And let me tell you that this pack is amazing. Uh, at the same time, though, the price is quite high at $174.99. I'll be honest, I am going to be working on the channel budget between now and the closing of the uh, pre-order date. I personally am hoping that I will be able to swing ordering this huge pack and be able to unbox it with all of you. Uh, probably at the end of the year, because these production cycles, by the way, once it closes, it takes at least, I would say, four to six months to get your stuff. So even though this is being pre-ordered now, don't expect most of this before the end of 2021. Now, what is guaranteed is I'm at least getting either the classic edition or the ultimate edition. So basically, in my opinion, it's going to be between those two packs, which one I get for the channel. And it'll all depend on basically how I rework the channel budget and what big releases we have between now and the pre-order closing date. But anyway, that's a side note. Let's go look at what's in this amazing collection. Now, the first thing we get in this pack is you get an amazing collector's box. And there's what's called a shadow box that almost looks like a painting with a glass finish in the back that lights up and plays music. Now, for anyone who wants to decorate a room, for me, if I can get that in my backdrop behind here, that is going to be an amazing addition. After that, you basically get everything that is included in both the classic edition and the Bloodlines edition. So you get the Sega Genesis clamshell. You get the reproduction of the NES era box. You get the retro style dust sleeve. All that is included here. So basically you're getting everything everyone's getting in the other packs plus more. After that, you're getting once again the original soundtrack that was in the other versions and you're getting the dual sided reversible poster. But now we get to the stuff that is original to this pack other than the shadow box. We also get a book of the Crescent Moon, which is the history of Castlevania. And these are beautifully illustrated books. If you've ever seen another one of these books from Limited Run, these are huge books beautifully illustrated, an awesome collector's piece. And lastly, we get reproductions of the original box art prints. So the first three Castlevanias, you get also a steel book edition for your game case. And lastly, we get actually miniature replicas of a box collection. So they aren't full size. They're about they're, they're tiny generally. But nonetheless, you get a reproduction of the box art of each one of the original releases of the games that are included in the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. So when you're picking up this huge pack, it's because you're a fan of this stuff. 
if you don't care about any of this collector stuff, you can feel perfectly fine with the basic edition, the classic edition, or the Bloodlines edition. But if you care about this stuff, it's a lot of money, but honestly, for Castlevania, I am looking at purchasing it. And this is the first time I'm going to be purchasing an Ultimate Edition, but I'm such a fan of Castlevania that I just might splurge for the channel on this one. But anyway, at that, at this beautiful screen of what you can get in the Ultimate Edition, I'm going to be leaving all of you today because what I just wanted to do is share with all of you this amazing announcement we got and to make sure that anyone who watches the channel who's a fan of these retro game collections is to make sure that they can pre-order their copy and that they know that this is upcoming. So now I want to hear from all of you in the comments down below. Is anyone going to be splurging on any of the physical editions of the Castlevania Anniversary Collection? I really want to hear motivate me to actually feel like I should spend the money because it is a crazy expensive amount of money. And as usual, don't forget that if you did like this video and you want to see more like it, best way to support the channel is to hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.